typically within the first hour, hour and a half, we'll get our first call. Then uh, we'll probably get about maybe 10 more during a 24 hour period. Uh, I think we average about two or three hours of sleep. Welcome to their office. Cody and Jeff's home for the next 24 hours. A lot of people call us ambulance drivers still and, and they don't realize that we're highly trained medical professionals. These two do a lot more than just take patients to the hospital. Jeff is a paramedic and Cody is an EMT training to be a paramedic. And many times they are the ones you see first when your life is on the line. Time is everything. Um, you know, we're always trying to make our response times quicker. And when seconds count the most, when they're rushing to a call like this one. Possibly traumatic injury, I believe. Not knowing what to expect. They put their own lives on the line. It's very dangerous, especially when we turn the lights and sirens on. A university's four-year study showed 86% of all EMS deaths were transportation related. We're good. Many times people don't slow down or pull to the right. And that's just the beginning. We also have to deal with some some rather belligerent people sometimes. Most of the time when we are there, uh, we have police officers and, and uh, fire guys to help us out. That same study showed 8% of the deaths were actually caused by assaults while crews were responding to calls. In working with sick patients on a daily basis, there is always the risk of catching infections or being injured in the process. Lifting stretchers and patients and getting in and out of tight places, uh, it can really make your back hurt at the end of the day. But the physical stress or even the dangers where their own lives are put at risk. No, that's not the worst part. Uh, when you see the family hurting. For Cody and Jeff, it's the emotional toll of dealing with death and those patients they can't save. Some of us, I mean, I think we all have a tendency to bottle it up a little bit too much, but for the most part, I think we're pretty good about discussing it among ourselves. But they tough through those bad calls and those bad days. Sometimes it's really stressful, but like I said, those those rewarding calls are, are what get you through it. Because it's this call. Do you feel short of breath right now? Where they help an elderly woman breathe easier. That's a really good feeling. That is a really good feeling. It's the call where they help a child feel better. Uh, it means the world. Uh, when I get a thank you for your service. The call where they save a life. That's why they do it and why they wait patiently for the call for help. You really can't explain that feeling. It's just, uh, I like getting to go home and knowing that I've, I've, I have made a difference in somebody's life today.